everyone, I'm Mervyn Ikme Azeta, an engineer and manager at Slumberger, the world's largest oil and gas technology and service provider. It's absolutely incredible and humbling to get a chance to speak to young men and women of Federal Government College Video, a place where I found a part of my voice and learned very valuable life lessons roughly two decades ago. Thanks to the team for pulling this off and to all of you who are out there listening to me today. When I got the team for the event, I kind of struggled, you know, but I thought I might as well just share my story and perhaps tell you some of the lessons that I learned as a student at Federal Government College of Rio and these lessons that helped me pull through my study. Like some of you, if not many, I started off at Federal Government College of Rio as a pretty green, dewy-eyed and innocent young woman. Still innocent, by the way, and we can have a conversation about that offline, okay? However, I was eager to learn, intentional about ignoring noise, not afraid to be different, and particularly determined to make a difference. When I look back to those days, I have nothing but gratitude for the experience. Not only have I made a difference locally and globally, and still doing so, I have inspired many others to thrive. The later is the most rewarding part of the story for me. To chart a similar and even more colorful future for yourselves, I would like to give you three takeaways. The very first one is you need to know yourself. Who are you? What makes you tick? And what do you want out of life? What do you want out of your study? You know the popular saying, when the purpose of a thing is unknown, abuse is inevitable. That should motivate you to find out what you want out of your study and out of life in general. Although I was barely 10 years old when I started off at Ibido, I sort of knew I was a child of destiny, a daughter of the king, who is the most high God, and I was made for greatness. I'm sure some of you know yourselves, but if you don't know or you're unsure about who you are, it's okay too. All you need to do is ask, Seek guidance, you know, take on activities or projects that interest or fascinate you. Read good books, not meals and bones, if that is still a thing. Experiment with different extracurricular activities. You can do sports, you can, you know, do whatever, acting, drama, whatever. Do something. Ask lots of questions. And there are tons of people out there who can guide you to the light. Number two. You need to stay focused and determined. There will be tough times, there will be obstacles, there will be distractions, perhaps even more than I had with social media. A lot of you are perhaps on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and those things can be distracting. But if you really, really want to make it in life, if you really want to make a difference, really want to affect lives and, and change the world, make the world better, you need to stay focused and determined, okay? Don't fall for those things that try to detract your attention, even pressure from your peers. In my time, I was really good for being upright. I was lied against. I was bullied. I had my right leg dislocated by a senior. But I saw all of this as a bunch of noise. I was even called a Jew for not having a boyfriend. But as far as I was concerned, again, these were noise and I could not be detained. Again, I knew who I was and what I was made for. So it was pretty easy to stay focused. So you really do need to know who you are because it would help you stay focused. Number three, you need God's gift of grace. I call this the three Gs. If you do not remember anything I've said to you today, please don't forget this once because it's very important. Because sometimes, it's really not about your efforts or your knowledge. It's his grace that makes all happen. The Bible says, it's not of him that we let, nor of him that run it, but God that showed mercy. And in another verse, he says, his grace is sufficient for you. His power is made perfect in your weakness. So recognize this and take advantage of it. As you go through this citadel of learning, I hope that you take valuable knowledge and friendships with you, that God crowns your efforts with success, 
and helps you share your sparkle with the world. All the best and thanks for listening.